So hi everybody, um, today I'm doing another Disney video, obviously I love Disney, um, but today I'm going to do my Disney confessions. Um, I've seen a few people do this, like blogs and YouTube and stuff, and basically it's Disney fans telling you what they don't like about Disney, or not as keen as on, can't speak, on Disney, about Disney. Um, I don't really have any Disney hates, I, you know, I, I, there's generally nothing that I hate about Disney. So I thought I would do my hates and loves. Really hard to find something that I don't like, but I've got a couple of things. And then I'm also going to tell you my Disney confessions of my love for Disney, because let's keep things positive, eh? <laughs> so my first hate or dislike about Disney is going to be Peter Pan. Now, I know loads of you are going to disagree with me on this, because everyone seems to really love Peter Pan. But he's just one of my least favourite characters. I'm not a massive fan of the movie and just Peter Pan in general. I don't know, it's something about him. I just don't know what it is, but I'm not keen on him. If I so slightly creepy to me, and I, I don't know what it is, but I just think Peter Pan's really overrated. And I don't get it, I don't get it. And you know, like in the parks, he does a lot of meets and stuff. And I certainly wouldn't be getting in a big queue to meet Peter Pan. If the queue wasn't that big, I probably would just so that I could Take him off my list of character meets but he wouldn't be one of the people that I would queue up for a long time to meet. Um, don't really have anything else to say about it, I'm just not a massive Peter Pan fan. I like Captain Hook, he's really cool because I like pirates and villains and stuff. But Cat is going to knock the tripod, no! She has to get involved. Do you like Peter Pan? No I don't. See she doesn't like Peter Pan either, so it's not just me. <laughs> okay so my second hate is going to be Olaf. I don't get the big fascination with Olaf. Like, I know he's like a nice character and stuff, but he just really annoys me. I like Frozen, you know, it's a great film, although Frozen Fever is just mental at the moment. Um, but I just, yeah, I'm not a massive fan of Olaf. I prefer Sven, I think he's funnier. I think he's a cuter character. Um, I mean, he's a reindeer and I love reindeer, so that might have something to do with it, but yeah, Olaf, I just, he annoys me. He really annoys me and I just sometimes watch Frozen and I'm like, oh, it's Olaf's song. I have to sit through this now. And I just don't like Olaf. I'm sorry, people. I know so many of you are going to be like, Sarah, what are you talking about? But I just don't like Olaf. I'm sorry. Um, other hate or dislike. It's not really a hate or dislike. It's more of a confession, I guess. Disney confession. And that is that I prefer Disneyland Paris to Walt Disney World in Florida. Now, I've only been to Florida once. And it was absolutely incredible, like Magic, Magic Kingdom is iconic and it was an amazing experience. But I just find the whole Disney thing there is so big, it's so overwhelming. And to get to the park, you have to get the car into the car park, get a little bus thing from the car park because the car park is so big. And you have to get monorails and you have to get, <coughs> excuse me, um, ferries just to get into the park. And it's so long winded. and. If you know you just want to like, oh, I think I'll pop to one of the other parks, it takes so long to like park up there. Whereas Disneyland Paris, um, I mean, I've always stayed in the Disney hotels there. You can walk to the park, you can swap between the park and the studios, you can go into the Disney Village, and it's all like easily accessible on foot. And I much prefer that just because I'm not one for getting on the bus and mucking around. I like to just walk places. And I've stayed at Santa Fe and the Cheyenne, which are the furthest hotels out, and I always walk. Like, the only time I get the bus is when I've got my suitcase and it's really heavy because it's full of Disney goodies. <laughs> but yeah, I just prefer that. And also with Disneyland Paris, I've been there more times. And it's my local park. I mean, I live here in Ashford in Kent. So I literally can get on the Eurostar here in Ashford and get off two hours later at Disneyland Paris, which is incredible. And also, I've had some really good experiences there, like character meets and like I've gone with friends and I've got so many good memories from it there. and. I just prefer it, I just really like Disneyland Paris, so actually I think the castle's nicer in Disneyland Paris as well. It's just pretty, it's like pink and blue and just it's just really beautiful and I just prefer it to the Florida one. Sorry. So that's it for the negative stuff, which is not really that negative because I really don't have a lot of negative things to say. <laughs> but I'm going on to my Disney confessions, my loves for Disney. And the first one is the Disney community. Obviously I do YouTube and there's a lot of Disney YouTubers and everyone kind of knows each other and everyone's so nice and everyone just, like, they're all interested in the same thing and you get like gossip and news from the park, like, oh, there's a new parade, there's a new show. 
or Belle's got a new dress and it's just, I love that. And everyone's just really friendly and really accepting. And it's just nice and it's nice to focus on something happy. There's so much rubbish going on in the world, you know, you don't want to focus on that. Focus on Disney, it's fun. <laughs> uh, my second Disney love is going to be the fact that it always makes you happy. If I'm having a down day or I'm feeling sad, I've had a bad day at work, or I just feel a bit under the weather, I always just put on a Disney movie and I just, it instant, instantly makes me feel better. Like, you can't be sad when you watch Disney. I know there's like sad scenes in it, but it's always right in the end it's always a happy ending and I just it always cheers me up it's just nice just to have that little thing that will always cheer you up and you, you know you can rely on Disney for that um my third and final love of for Disney confessions is I love the diversity of Disney the movies for example they're not all set in the same place they're not all the same genre you have um, films like Mulan, which is all about set in China, and it's, there's a bit of information about Chinese traditions and things like that. And also um, Pocahontas, obviously about the Native Americans, which I believe is the correct term of calling the, because it used to be Indians, I think, but Native American, I think, is the, the correct term. And you, you know, you see their culture and the culture's colliding you know you've got Pocahontas and John Smith and, and they get together and there's, there's no th getting rid of the boundaries does that make sense I like that it's nice to have like everyone come together no matter what race or religion or anything else and it's nice it's quite comforting it's like especially the way the world is these days with the terrorism and the racism and all those horrible things there's none of that in Disney and I like the fact that it's diverse so yeah I think that's it guys um yeah so obviously please comment below if you have any disney confessions i'd love to hear them um and if you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up for me and i hope you're all well and i will speak to you soon bye guys <laughs>